King Solomon's Mine. This is a lecture by John Hayes Hammond, 1903. Now, in regards to the King Solomon Mines movie, I have not watched that, but I will go through it to see if I find any information that coincides with this lecture. John Hayes Hammond says they were located in Zimbabwe, ruins, uncovered, ancient methods of surprising effectiveness. Mr. John Hayes Hammond lectured Monday afternoon in McCoy Hall, Johns Hopkins University on King Solomon's Mines or the Mines of Ophir. Mr. Hammond is the American who was sentenced to death for taking part in a movement to overthrow President Kruger and to put General Jubert in his place, the sentence being later commuted to a fine. He is a professor of mining in Yale University and was long chief engineer to Cecil Rhodes in the South African gold fields. The track which Mr. Hammond is convinced contains the ancient mines from which King Solomon drew the vast stores of gold in which we read in the Bible lies in the southern part of the province of Rhodesia near the Portuguese territory and encroaches upon the territory of the Transvaal of this section, Mr. Hammond said. Scattered throughout the country are thousands of excavations made upon gold-bearing quartz veins, aggregating several hundred miles in length, and many hundred ancient mines, temples, fortresses, etc., the monuments of prehistoric peoples. As the result of personal examination, I have no hesitancy in expressing the opinion that the past production of these ancient mines has amounted to at least one billion and perhaps several hundred millions of dollars worth of gold. Rhodesia today is inhabited by a European population consisting of about 15,000 Europeans and about half a million native Asiatics. The revival of mining operations is of recent date, for many Europeans were entirely out of touch with this part of Africa, and it was not until 1868 that the ancient mines and veins of Rhodesia were rediscovered and brought to the notice of Europe by Adam Renders, who by the way was a hunter and explorer. The most important ruin as yet found in Rhodesia, the Great Zimbabwe Temple in southwestern Mashonoland, has been compared by Moeller to the famous Temple of Bilkis, or Queen of Sheba, Situated near Morris, the capital of the old Sabean or Shabian kingdom of southern so-called Arabia. The similarity of architecture with the many other points of identity existing between the remains of the two countries, Mr. Hammond thinks is conclusive proof that the expeditions of Hiram and Solomon were fitted out for this section. The fact that the animals mentioned in the Bible as having been among the cargoes of the returning treasure ships were just those which would be captured in Rhodesia, and another point which he makes for his theory. The lecture also went into the extended review of the archaeological history of the region to illustrate which he presented a map of the country with the inhabitants of the race marked out upon it. He described the ancient method of mining, which was by means of shafts sunk at intervals into a vein as a substitute for blasting, then of course unknown by reason of the non-existence of powder, an open fire was built against the vein, and cold water was thrown upon the heated portion to induce the obstreperous rock to crack into the workable condition. Some of the smelted gold yet remains in the furnaces, said the lecturer, proven that the workmen left their task in a hurry, but whether this is to be accounted by concluding that there was an insurrection among the slaves which formed the larger portion of the miners, an incursion from other races into the country which necessitated the use of the miners as soldiers or some other cause, there is no means of ascertaining of the claims that have been made from time to time that the mines of Ophir were located in the countries of Peru, China, Arabia, and India, which India isn't really India, it's Hindustan. Hammond quickly disposed Peru, he said. It is out of the question by reason of incessibility, which also applies to China and other distant countries. In neither India nor Arabia, he said, are there any ancient gold workings indicating sufficient richness to have supplied the enormous quantities of gold accredited to the expedition of higher and Solomon, 
On the other hand, the mines of Rhodesia not only have supplied enormous quantities of gold in the past, but are not by any means worked out and will rapidly increase their present output as conditions grow more favorable. In view of the facts which I have endeavored to present, said Mr. Hammond in conclusion, I believe that I am justified in concluding that here in the territory of Rhodesia, bordering upon the most recent and certainly the greatest of all El Dorados, the Transvaal, was the location of the famous mines of King Solomon, the Ophir of Holy Writ, prepared by the National Geographic Society, Washington, D.C., he who has traveled the roads through Cornwall, southmost county, recalls the vast moors, doles, dun, and bear, in which the only interruption to the eye's range is an occasional ruined pit house, through the gaps of which one glimpses the blue sky, or a tumbled heap of earth, where once Phoenician tin miners perhaps sought the metal which a Cornish historian once declared near as fine as silver.